Today, we're gonna to give you 10 must-have accessories for your riverboat. Hey there, how are we doing today? Spencer Walton here with Southpaw. Uh, we're gonna go over a couple, uh, 10 actually must-have accessories that we use on the river on our boat. Uh, this right here is my Low Roughneck 1860. Uh, you've seen this before in a video that we've had. I think uh, we'll go ahead and link that probably right up here. Maybe up here, maybe down there, I don't know. It'll be linked somewhere. But uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over some of the, the 10 accessories that we use the most on the river, uh, really every single time we hit the river. So let's hit it. The first one I wanna talk about is this little rope right here. So what this is, this is just a regular sunk section of rope that was overhand knotted in place. I'm sure you've all seen that. And all it does is creates this loop. It goes right into the cleat, super simple. Now I'm gonna show you why we use this right after I get this done. Loop it down through and back on itself. Now what this does is, and this kind of leads into, uh, that was number one. Accessory number two is gonna be this shallow water pin. Shallow water anchor, you might call it, okay? Uh, so what we do, is when we boat up, get up on the bank, we go ahead and uh, we nose into the bank and if we need to stay there for a, while, a little while, we'll take our rope, which is um, just the right size to go over the side. Shallow water anchor goes right down in and shoved into the ground. Of course, we're in gravel right now, so it doesn't work too well. But what that does is that holds us. Even with the current, these rods are pretty stout. So the boat holds in place. The rear end is going to go a little ways, but not too bad because I'll shut the motor off at that point so it doesn't matter. So with accessory number one as the rope looped up, accessory number two as a shallow water pin works really well to keep you where you need to be kept. Now kind of along with the rope on the front, we always like to have just extra cordage and I like to put good sturdy carabiners on there too. So that way you can clip it on here on the mooring cleat or whatever you need to hold it, give you extra leverage. So there we go. Now accessory number three, you've probably seen before in a video on the on the 1860 Roughneck, are these rubber mats. We've got three of them on our boat, Brent's got two or three in his boat, and uh, these basically keep you from falling on your butt. Um, when you get a lot of fish, you get a lot of rainwater, things like that, this floor gets really slick. So having these rubber mats here uh, keeps it nice and sturdy so you don't fall, and uh, they're easy to take out, remove, and clean just the same. That's accessory number three. Accessory number four is a waterproof, rainproof, whatever you want to call it, tote. This allows you to keep any extra uh, uh, cameras, phones, keys, notepads, whatever you want inside of it. So like now we've got some scales, notepad, extra uh, nylon rope, extra sinkers, lines, hooks, the whole nine yards. Also some tools bug spray, even a little medical kit. That's important, okay? So this little uh, this little tote here goes a long ways in keeping some of your important gear safe. It's another really, really good spot for pliers and some smaller tools to make small repairs on the river when you need to get going. Really, really good thing to have. That's accessory number four. Moving on back. All right, accessory number five. Again, this is something you've seen before, but we use this every single time, so we're gonna highlight it. It's actually this three rod rod holder right here. Okay, as you can see, we've got a net for our bait. We've got some tools, and they're all conveniently located right there in our rod holder. So we know where they're at. When we got a fish on and we need something quick, we grab it. Or if we're getting bait, we grab our net, we grab our bait, we hook it up and we go. That accessory is priceless. We use it all the time. Moving on. All right, accessory number six is this tray. Another thing you've seen before in our Low Roughneck 1860 video, but uh, it's so important that we're throwing it on here. It is a must have. This is something we use all the time. Actually, I'm gonna kind of give you like a six and a half because of the windshield. So what happens is this tray is put up here. You keep everything nice and, and clean and up and accessible. Keys, cell phones, uh, even an, a beverage, maybe an adult beverage can fit right there. And we've done them before, maybe. But regardless, with the windshield, it keeps the rain and the wind out of that to keep everything right here. This tray, 
It's like a $10 tray, maybe even a $5 tray at Walmart or on Amazon.com. Um, it's Velcroed onto the boat itself and it's rock solid, not going anywhere. We use it every single trip. That's number six, great thing. Number seven is this little power knob. Yet again, something you've seen before. They're not new, they've been around a long time, but they work great. If you've got a boat with, a, with, with the steering wheel, with the motor, and you fish a lot of current, maybe a lot of bigger water, things like that, but especially current, you know that you can do a lot of cranking on this steering wheel and you can't get a lot of immediate response out of that motor. So this little power knob here helps you grab onto it and really crank on that motor and get that thing spinning. Because when you got the nose up in the bank for our fishing that we do, and that current's pushing the rear of your boat, sometimes you gotta whip that around to get it where you need to be. So getting this steering wheel thrown around quickly helps a lot. That's number seven. Accessory number eight, the Humminbird Helix 5. But any, any fish finder is gonna do fine, okay? This is just one that I found. Uh, again, the Humminbird Helix 5. It was a good price point when I bought it and it had what I wanted, but nothing more. It was just the right option for me. Hindsight, I probably would've went to a little bit bigger of a screen, but just think about that first. Buy once, cry once, right? So what this does, this has the ability to give you the temperature, the depth, your speed, which is, if that's important to you. Um, we use it for the depth and the temperature all the time. Uh, the other thing that this has, this does have GPS, so I can see on the map uh, the, the last route that we took so I can make sure I'm staying away from certain places or staying to the channel. Heck, we can even see where we kind of dove into the bank to set a bank pole. Um, so this thing works extremely well. And this does have the side imaging capability. So if you play with it a lot, you can see fish on the sides, you can see structure, you can see uh, depth, and you can see the ground and see how hard or how firm that ground is. Maybe it's rock, maybe it's sand. It's got different colors and uh, that, the different colors will tell you how hard that is. So that's number eight. Number nine is going to be, since I'm right here, the jack plate. Uh, we might have to move the camera just a little bit to show you the jack plate, but what the jack plate is, and, and this one is not a manual one, okay? This one has, uh, has the power switch. You can probably hear it grinding. We'll show you here in a little bit, okay? But the jack plate is something that can raise that motor up you know, a good six inches or so, maybe eight inches, and you know very well if you're on the river too much that there's a lot of skinny places. Now, a lot of these big wide boats, and we've got the flotation pods on the rear here, they can get pretty skinny, but uh, you, then you have to deal with some stumps and rocks and things that are sticking up off the bottom. So being able to get that motor another six inches or another eight inches up higher, that can go a long ways. So the jack plate, well worth the money. A great addition and we use this several times day in day out every time on the, on the river that's number nine number ten is something kind of new here so what this is this is kind of a hack if you want to call it that this is just a plastic crate you can pick these up all day long for just a few bucks heck you might even have some sitting out in the garage already but what we did is so it's a plastic milk crate if you want to call it that um, usually I have it bolted down to the boat just to make sure it's nice and sturdy. I just take a boat, a bolt straight down through the crate, down through where the seat pedestal goes, and then on the underside you can reach in and put the nut, okay? So that's going to hold this milk crate down nice and sturdy. What we've done, and I'm just going to pull it closer to me so it's easier and give you a better shot. So what I've done is I've went on here and I have attached another three rod rod holder, okay? Now you could go as simple as just getting some U-bolts and putting U-bolts around here and attaching it. I screwed it onto some wood and have the wood attached. It doesn't matter however you want to do it, okay? But what we actually did is we've got a three rod rod holder, which you can use for other tools and accessories. You can use it for rods. You can use it for whatever you want. Actually, what we did is we've got, this is a chunk of metal conduit and this is a chunk of three quarter uh, PVC. So, I shoved a pool noodle actually down in the rod holder. As you can see the blue pool noodle going down in the rod holder and down the center of it are these rods. And what we're using them for is, you might be able to see that, it's a GoPro mount. So it's nice and sturdy. It's not sticking up too tall. So it's just a good sturdy mount to put your GoPro. If you don't like that, we're about to be bombarded by the bait boy here, I think. There he is. I was wondering where he was. 
So if you don't need a GoPro, maybe this is not something you need. It's just another good spot. You throw stuff, you throw stuff inside the milk crate. You got more storage there. You can put rods here. You can put tools there, whatever you need. That's a great thing. That's accessory number 10. Uh, this is a new one. We're just trying it out so far working pretty well. So that's pretty cool. All right. So what this is, as you can see, this is the Atlas micro jack plate. Again, this is the jack plate that raises the motor up and down, you know, six, eight inches, whatever it is. Has the ability just to get that motor up a little bit higher so you're knocking some of the, so you're not knocking some of those rocks and some of those stumps. So uh, that's it, folks. That's the uh, 10 of some of our must have boat accessories. Now, there's a ton of more things we use every day, and I'm sure you folks have things that you use all the time just the same. But uh, these tools that we just went over, are spot on. It's things that we use all the time. Hopefully this helps. If you like this video, please subscribe uh, to our channel of Unorthodox Outdoors by Southpaw and like the video. And if you have any questions or comments, shoot them our way. Take care folks, have a great day.